In this clip, we will take a look at the showcase from a site reliability engineer's perspective. How do we improve the developer's experience by separating tests and production environments and abstracting away the deployment process? I have sped up deploying all the services of my application using OpenShift pipelines. After the pipelines are executed, the final result is deployed as I showed in the introductory clip. Moving to Argo CD, it is configured with multiple applications mapped to the different services. I can filter out these applications using specific fields and labels. For the showcase, I have defined a label named ENV to differentiate between applications deployed in test and production environments. Now if I take a look at test applications, everything seems to be working fine. They are all in sync and working normally. All good. But if I switch to prod applications, something is wrong here. They are all in an unknown status. This is actually normal. Using Git branches, I can simulate different deployment environments. My test applications are pointing to the test branch on the GitOps repository. And this branch gets automatically updated by the pipelines. However, my prod applications point out to a prod branch which is empty for now. As an SRE, I do want to ensure that everything is working fine before I push changes to production. You can define all sorts of tests and scenarios to tell whether the application is ready to move to production or not. For me, the application is running fine now in the test environment, so I will move it to prod. Note that this pattern of manual approval is up to the SRE. We can choose to automate this migration from test to prod if we don't feel the need to run verifications against the test application. Having the Argo CD applications configured on the prod branch, just like we did on the previous clip, this is only a matter of copying the content of the test branch to the prod branch in the GitOps repository. And we will do that using a pull request. The test applications were deployed in the namespace called techzone-boutique-test. But the prod applications will be on a separate project called techzone-boutique-prod. As an SRE, you should separate your different deployment environments in case you wanted to define different access rules to projects. After a small period of time or a manual refresh, Argo CD will pick up the changes in the prod branch and deploy my services, and we should see the final application up and running, but this time in a production environment. Moving on. Another field in the Argo CD applications is the target cluster. This is the cluster that the service will be deployed on. My initial configuration was having three services on each cluster. By using this target cluster field, I can easily move services to different clusters. This is possible as we have already built multi-architecture images using our pipelines. The services are available for all architectures after the CI part, while CD translates to deciding where to deploy them and letting Argo CD do the rest. Let's say there is a business need that requires all IBM Power applications move to Z. Here I will try to move the front-end service that is already running on Power. We only need to update the destination field in the Argo CD UI and wait for it to pick up the change.
the front end is a multi architecture image, and we can see that in the image registry. I can open my new front end. It says on top that it's running on S390X, which is the IBM Z architecture. And that was pretty much it. Note that what I have done with the front end is possible with all the services. Granted, they are built for the target cluster's architecture. You have seen that GitOps is a very powerful strategy. But wait, there's more. When I moved my service, I still had to go through the Argo UI and change the destination manually. Displacement of services can also be automated using a GitOps strategy. This is a pattern called App of Apps that is unfortunately out of scope for this series.